Yo guys, what's up? My name is Maltes and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can edit your drone footage to get the most epic and cinematic look. So, if you've never edited a video before, that's not a problem. I'm gonna walk you through step by step and show you how you can color grade your drone footage to achieve this epic and cinematic look. The first thing you have to do is open your editing software, in my case it's DaVinci Resolve. Now you can see your local database in which your already created projects are based and now you want to create a new project. You can create a new project by pressing the new project button in the lower third of the DaVinci Resolve window. Once you're in DaVinci Resolve, the first thing we have to change is the project settings. Next we have to make sure that the timeline resolution is set to 4K if the drone footage was recorded in 4K, otherwise the resolution will be downsampled and it becomes greasy. Once you selected 4K you can hit the save button and return to DaVinci Resolve. Next we go into the editing tab. There you are importing the footage. You import the footage simply by drag and dropping it into the media pool. Now the program asks you if you want to change the frame rate. Unless you specifically record it in a certain frame rate for a time lapse or a slow motion, I would recommend to change the frame rate. Now you just drop your footage onto the timeline. Usually drone footage has no audio, that's why I'm going to remove it now. After that we skim through the footage and look for usable clips. In the middle of your DaVinci Resolve screen you see a toolbar. Today we are only going to use the blade tool and the selection tool. To make a cut you simply click on the blade or press B on your keyboard. Then hit the mouse and the cut is made. To remove the unnecessary part simply right click and hit ripple cut or ripple delete. Once you are done with cutting and editing your clips we now go into the color tab. This is where all the magic happens. In DaVinci Resolve the color grading is done by using nodes. To start editing we have to create two more nodes. You do that by right clicking add node and then click on the corrector. Now all you have to do is connect the nodes. The next step is to add effects. The effects tab is located in the top right corner. Now look for color space transform and apply it to the second node by drag and drop. After that, change the input color space to DGI D gamut. Next, change the input gamma to 2.4. Change the output color space to Rec 709. And last but not least, change the output gamma to 2.4. As you can see in the footage, the coloring has already improved. In the next step, we have to apply a LUT. A LUT is a lookup table where color presets are saved in. I'm going to apply now one of my LUTs. And as you can see in the picture, the colors have already improved quite a bit. We now have the signature cinematic and epic look. To change the intensity of a LUT, all you have to do is change the output gain. If you want to make the LUT more intense, pull it to the right. If you want to make it less intense, pull it to the left. Now do the same thing for every clip and then you're already done with the color grading. Now we just have to export our footage. You do that by going to the deliver tab and in the deliver tab you have to decide what to export it to. In my case I choose the YouTube preset. Then make sure the resolution is set to 4K. Select the folder where you want to have the final video. Give it a name. And last but not least, click on add to render queue and hit render all. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And if you want to see more of my videos, you can check it out on the channel page. And I hope I see you next Monday.